Hello everyone, it's Meg and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips for reading on a budget. If you're a reader and you absolutely love reading but you can't afford to buy all the millions and gazillions of beautiful books that you see all these booktubers buy, which I wish I did, if I had the budget I would have my whole room would be covered in bookshelves, but they're not. I have a couple of tips that I have come up with to help you guys who are reading on the budget if you can't buy a lot of books or have them as your own so I hope these tips help you as somebody from one budget reader to another I hope you enjoy this video and you find some of these tips helpful and without further ado let's get into the video tip number one is the most obvious tip which is go to the library I have quite a few libraries around me so I have access to all of them I must admit I've not taken a book out of a library yet because I'm reading all the books that I haven't read on my shelf before I start reading the books from the library but libraries have access to hundreds of amazing books I have all different sorts of genres that you can have books ordered in if they do not have it in your library and like I said if you have more than one library in your area you can join more than one which is great and the best part is that it's free you can have your public library and if you are in school or college or university you have access to the library there as well so make sure that you take advantage of your library and also support it because supporting libraries is very important especially in this day and age. Tip number two is to buy secondhand books. This is something that I was doing a lot over 2018 and it is how I have nearly filled an entire shelf of books up there, or at least half of it. I have been doing a challenge, a 20 pound book challenge, which I'm still doing. And once I have completed the challenge, I will make a video about it with you guys. Obviously, secondhand books are just as readable as brand new books. They may be a little bit worn from other people owning them but that just means that they were loved and somebody else really enjoyed them and also they're a lot cheaper so I love my favourite place to get secondhand books is through charity shops. I have quite a few, lucky to, enough to have quite a few towns near me that have a lot of charity shops so I'll go in them every once in a while and have a mooch and see if I can find anything and the cheapest I think I've ever got a book for is, let me have a look, 49p is the cheapest I've ever gotten a book which is amazing. I've saved so much money buying some books, finding books in charity shops that I never thought I would be able to get them from. Obviously like I said you can go to charity shops uh, like bric-a-brac antique shops you can go to car boot sales and obviously there's online places like Abe Books. you can buy secondhand books off Amazon and there's other, I'm sure there are other websites where you can buy secondhand and used books as well but it's just great because obviously somebody has loved that book and then it's ended up in the shop and then you can take that book home and love it yourself and even though I was somebody who loves their books in spick and span condition I have learnt to love the ruggedness of secondhand books. That is another great way if you want to have books that are your own but a more affordable way of acquiring them. Tip number three is one that I've also been doing over the past few years is if you have a main bookshelf at home, not necessarily in your room, one downstairs that involve, has a lot of books that your parents might have read or maybe siblings or relatives, have a look in those bookshelves and see if there are any books that intrigue you. I have found a couple of books from my book parents' bookshelf downstairs that have become my all-time favourite. I Catch the Castle by Dodie Smith was one of them and there's been a couple of others that I can't think of right now that I have also read from looking in our bookshelves downstairs because even though those books may be, some of the books may be quite old or maybe not the sort of content young adult or maybe contemporary books you're used to, you may surprise yourself and you may find some amazing books that were right under your nose in the first place that you love and that your parents have read or your relatives and then you can read them and then you can talk about them together as well which I think is wonderful. Tip number four is to borrow books from a friend or do a book swap. 
I don't have this advantage because literally none of my friends read, which is so sad. But if you have a friend that loves to read, maybe you could do a book swap with each other or do a read along, read the same book together and then you can discuss it afterwards. Again, it's a wonderful way to, again, be able to read books for free and discover new books that you like and also to be able to discuss books with other people, especially your friends who are obviously people that are very close to you so you can share your thoughts and experiences with by swapping books and seeing what you each think, uh, like seeing getting to know each other's reading tastes or maybe again try a book that you've never read before that you surprisingly enjoy. Tip number five is to look for bookshop sales and by that I mean whether you go to a bookshop I know in Waterstones they always have like a crates with like discounted books and stuff in or go to places that have discounted books like I know Book Depository is one of my favourite places to get discounted books looking out for sales like whether the sales on Waterstones or I know there's like that Friday summer Christmas sales whatever look out for sales and you may find that some books that you want are actually a lot cheaper come these sales and also look out for discounts if there's a discount code or maybe a booktuber or somebody has a discount code make sure why not take advantage of it it means that you get books that are cheaper and you don't have to spend as much money on a full price book which is awesome and tip number six which is one of the most important ones is to only buy books that you're actually going to read don't just splurge all your money on a load of books that you are probably who are only slightly interested in and probably never going to read. I um, I don't do book hauls very often because I don't buy books in bulk. I will maybe buy two or three books at one time but only if I really really want them and that's because I have a massive wish list on Book Depository or Amazon or wherever and each month I will pick a book or two that I want to read and then I will order it and that way I know that I'm not going to have a massive TBR pile piling up on my bookshelf filling up all the spaces where all the books that I have read have no place to go and it just means in general that I save a lot of money because I don't it because I'm not buying a massive amount of books that I'm not never going to read. Maybe give yourself a budget each month if you are one of those people who loves to buy books, loads of books or maybe pre-plan your TBR and make sure you stick to it. Don't be super overly ambitious, be something that you can, is attainable and something that you think you can accomplish. That way you're not buying loads of books or, and then not being able to read them within that month. And also don't buy them just because of the cover. Like everybody else on, in the book world, I love me a beautiful cover. I don't think I've ever really bought a book because of the cover. But those that I have done, I have actually enjoyed. So, like I said, don't buy a book just because of the cover. Maybe pre-plan your TBR and give, you, give yourself a budget. Maybe every month or however long you want to give your budget for. So then you're only reading books that you actually enjoy. You think you're going to enjoy and you're actually going to read. So those are all my tips for how to read on a budget. I hope you guys found some of these helpful. If you have any other tips on reading on a budget then please leave them in the comments down below. I'm always looking for new ways to be able to have access to all the amazing world of books on a budget like hopefully a lot of you guys are. Any sort of links or websites or anything that I have mentioned I will leave them in the description box down below for you guys to check out along with all my social media, my Goodreads page and my blog. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more bookish videos from me and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!